Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name's Sophie. I do speed build videos every weekend, and then I do the occasional let's play as well. Um, so today's video is a starter home. Um, I did a starter home a while back, and to tell you the truth, I absolutely hate the way it turned out. Um, so I'm trying to redeem myself with this one trying to build something that I actually like the look of um, but also cheap and keep into that 20k budget. Um, start a home basically means that your sim can move in straight away without any use of cheats or anything so these houses unfortunately tend to be very very cheap um, also with like not a lot of furniture inside so it's quite hard for a builder to do something like this. Um, we are like very used to like filling up houses with like lots of items and you know adding in all the clutter items and all that. So doing something like this is very hard. Well, I, I'm probably just, I don't want to speak for others but I find it very hard. Um, hence my other start at home kind of looked like it had been hit by a frying pan right at the front that's what I would say anyway but that's just my opinion <laughs> um so yeah I'm trying to redeem myself with this one so I think my problem with my other starter house is that I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it so I kind of just had like yeah it just didn't go right and I accidentally built it on an angle as well um, so yeah, it was just destined to fail from the beginning, to be honest. Um, however, this one, I am doing it in the theme of a little cute cottage. Um, I don't know what I'm thinking at the moment when I'm like adding that sort of wallpaper. Um, it's very plain. I'm, when I'm doing this, I am thinking I need to go for like nice cheap items, um, I don't, you know, don't want to add too much, although I do add a fireplace, which just makes no sense, but we're going for, like, nice cosy themes here, so, and also, it doesn't cost anything to add a roof to the top of your house, so, what we get in the end is a nice brick house, um, it's one bedroom, one bathroom, and then there's, like, a nice little family area not that this is actually big enough for a family but there you go that's what we're gonna go with but yeah I I had in mind like just I wanted to do a cottage um so the outside in the end I end up putting loads of flowers out and that's the only bit of landscaping that we have money for um I think the whole idea though with starter houses is that you can like the starter houses are basically there for your sims to live in and to add their own features, I suppose. Um, so yeah, the kitchen is just kind of stuck in this little tiny area. Um, I did go for the cheapest cabinets, but not all the cheapest appliances. My idea was, is that if necessary, I if I had more money at the end, I would have gotten rid of them and added some different types. Um, unfortunately though I did not have enough money to actually do that. We ended up spending it all on that fireplace obviously. So what we're left with is just kind of like, it's quite stylish to be honest. Um, we've got the nice little wallpaper that I always use. So yeah. Um, but yeah, kitchens, I just, you know, I'm adding the nice little details that I normally like to add. Um, and then obviously the bathroom. Again with the bathroom, I don't put the cheapest items in, which is probably where I went wrong. But I think if this is a starter house, then you don't want all the items breaking before you've even like had a chance to use it properly. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. Um, but yeah, so the kind of vibe that I went for inside, it's not perfect. Um, we have just gone for like a nice little cottagey feel. So 
it's definitely a bit outdated like the wallpaper that we've got around has a nice little floor print which is you know it's quite nice it's not the nicest and I don't normally use it but you know it it looks nice I think the whole effect effect is there so yeah but the items in the middle of the house are very minimum we don't have a lot of money um, we don't have a TV. The TV can come later when your Sims have got a job. Um, but you know, we do have a nice little sitting area and we also have a table and chairs. And I kind of decided to mix and match it a little bit with like look with chairs which don't really match. Um, so at this point I have spent around 13,000 simoleons. Um, the money is running out. Um, but you know, it does run out. It would. I don't think. I don't know how people do houses for like ten k. For me, that is like completely impossible. Um, and also, like I just don't want it to look plain. So I do end up ad adding items that I probably didn't need to use. Um, but so this is at the point now where I'm like, I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller. Um, just so we can actually try and get a bit more money for it and we end up doing little things like just deleting some of the windows because <laughs> we didn't need them all and I don't think it kind of ruins the aesthetic of outside either. Um, the bedroom is fairly cute though, um, obviously not a lot of room to fit everything in but it still functions although I have not player tested it. Um, this will be uploaded on the gallery so please excuse me if it is not working in any way um, but yeah so bedroom is fairly bog standard to be honest um, not a lot of money to like actually add like much detail but we do go for like a nice funky wallpaper we, do, we kind of brightens it up and it makes it a little bit more modern but yeah, and I'm not sure if I end up lowering the walls in the end. Um, we kind of have it on the medium length wall at the moment, um, which to me kind of seems a little bit too tall. But, and I think when you're doing such a small build as well, you kind of need lower walls because it ends up, you, you know, it looks even more empty than what it is. So. I think I do actually change those in the end um, just because it, it kind of suits the build a little bit more and I think that in England especially like old and like older cottages they will not have high ceilings at all so that was kind of like my thought process when doing that uh, but yeah so to be honest this is a very short build I do like to do like shorter builds every now and then um, but yeah, I'm ho I'm ho I'm trying to like at the moment work on a few builds which are a lot bigger. So just so you know what to expect in the future, we're gonna have like a nice ultra modern mansion which is taking so far absolutely forever to build. Um, I have promised um one of my subscribers M that I'm gonna do her a tree house. So that is coming I still haven't started it but please don't hate me <laughs> it will happen at some point um, but yeah so this is almost nearly done we kind of just adding all the little finishing touches obviously we've got to have all those nice little lights everywhere um, just because it's a starter home doesn't mean you know that we can't like try our hardest to make it look like it's supposed to be a cottage just because we've run out of money like we still need to do the whole design of it and we'll add all the trees as well um but yeah so yeah i just like to say a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far um for me i just want to say like it's not really about the subscribers um i make these builds because I enjoy making them so having all your guys support just you know just makes it all seem worthwhile um, but yeah 
So I'm going to leave this one here. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the build. There isn't really too much left to go now. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a great weekend. Hope you've all had a great week. Um, I shall see you all next time for my next build. I shall see you later. Bye.